Hi, this is Teal from Puckerblocks.com. Today I want to show you some sketching tips and techniques to help make your sketches more dimensional as well as to give more depth to your subjects. Let's start! There are 9 techniques that I want to show you today. Many of them have got to do with perspective one way or another. So let me start with the first one. You can vary the size of your objects in your drawing to uh, give the illusion of depth. Uh, that's using perspective because objects that are closer to you would appear larger than objects that are further away. Let me draw in the horizon line to help me first. That's the vanishing lines. Closer to the horizon, I would draw the objects smaller. and. In the mid ground, maybe something larger, and then here would be something larger. Maybe here, uh, something middle size. Here's something smaller. If it's close to the or at the horizon, it would be just very small. So this is how you can use the differences in size to vary the objects. Oops. The second technique is called placement, uh, quite similar to the first uh, technique. In this technique, the objects that you place closer to the horizon, which in this case happens to be the eye level as well, Objects that you place close to the eye level will appear smaller and objects that are further away from the eye level will appear um, bigger. Again, let me place some squares. So this object, the bottom of this line is actually quite far away from this horizon line as compared to this small square which is very near the horizon line. So in this case, this is very similar to um, this one, this example, but when you use placement, you, s you sort of need the uh, eye level because you need a basis of comparison. In this, in this case, you compare the bottom versus the bottom here versus the where your horizon is. Let's say if I draw a square that is quite big here. Now these two squares um, they are quite near the horizon line because the bottom is quite near the line and as a result I will make a guess that they are at the same distance uh, from me and because of that this square is looks bigger than this square and it is in fact bigger than this square as compared to this square which is close to, closer to me because of perspective will be much much bigger in real life so when you want to uh, show that objects are closer, you just place them further away from the horizon. The third technique is to um, use line thickness. Line thickness um, is again somewhat similar to the first technique on size. Objects that are further away, you can draw them using a thinner line. And objects in the mid ground, middle ground, you can draw them with a middle, uh, slightly thicker line. And objects that are much closer, you can just draw it with a very thick line. Now at the end of this video, I will show you a a sketch that I drew using every single one of these techniques and you'll be able to see how they apply when you're drawing. Uh, 3D versus 2D. Uh, try to draw at least two sides to an object rather than just one side. This is one side and if you draw more than two sides immediately the illusion of depth it will immediately give you make the object feel more dimensional. Overlap is a very useful technique as well. 
you just draw one object overlapping another object and because this uh, lonely square here is not connected in any way to these two squares here I'm not able to tell whether or not this is uh, higher or lower in level compared to these two but if I were to draw another one here and then connect them now I know that they are from the same height the sixth technique is um, you can use shadow to give more depth as well Oops. so we have a cube here and we have a circle here you can just shade give uh, some shading uh, to make it feel more dimensional as if there's a light source hitting this object so it appears more three-dimensional and you can even shade the side of it to give it the illusion that it is sitting on some sort of surface so there's some sort of surface going on and this is a circle uh, without shading but if I just shade the circle Now it becomes a sort of a sphere and then I can again add the shadow beneath it and now it looks like as if it's sitting on some sort of surface. A shadow is very helpful too. Even for um, over, even for uh, let's say this one, you can add, add a drop shadow to it and it will appear more dimensional. Of course you must be consistent and add the shadow to all the objects. The next technique is uh, contrast. <clears throat> Draw three squares. Let me use some of the techniques that I showed you earlier. I'm using a thin line to draw this particular square. Objects that are further away will actually have um, <clears throat> less contrast in terms of maybe value, color, and even line thickness. Now this is because of if you look at uh, scenes in real life, you look at, look at landscapes in real life, they are affected by atmospheric pressure uh, like dust particles in the air so they will block your visibility and you won't be able to see the color so clearly for further objects as compared to um, uh, objects that are near to you, near, near, nearer to you so you can do again let's say um, this object is quite near I'll just give them a very strong shade and uh, objects that are further I'll just give them a very light shade and objects that are furthest away just very a very tall a very light tonal shade let me switch a pencil let me use a darker pencil here yeah So this is how you use contrast, you can vary the tone, or make the color, or vary the color, make the one closer to you more saturated, or we just vary the line thickness. Next is detail. You can draw objects that are closer with more detail. For example, I've drawn this guy. Oops, I give it a big smile. Uh, this is a big guy here, and maybe the same guy here, which is standing much further away, because it's so far away. I did not draw any detail, and and because it's so small, I cannot draw any detail. 
me draw in the horizon line as well so you can sort of gauge the size better so for closer objects you just draw them with more detail you can add things like um, use smaller thinner lines to add details next one is uh, hard objects eh, sorry hard hard versus soft edges again when you are looking at closer objects they tend to have a very strong sharp distinct edge so I have a box sitting uh, in space somewhere let me just and there's a background to this box but I don't want to draw the background using lines instead I use just just shade just shade the background using pencil so it's actually while well, sitting on a table and that's about all there is so I did not use a pen to draw the table I just use it to draw the box instead and in this case people will be attracted to the box because it has more contrast compared to the background which is just there's, there are no edges there let's look at an example where I applied all the techniques for drawing let's see our uh, first technique is uh, perspective in size so we have a few examples here the trees they diminish in size when they are closer to the horizon same as the people at the at this particular park and then we have um, placement the second technique that i showed you when you place two objects closer to the horizon line for example these two trees here uh, they are at the same distance uh, away from the horizon line so this tree would appear bigger than this particular tree and this tree which is further away from the horizon line is actually even much bigger than this two tree because it's further away and this one you cannot even see you cannot even see the bottom of the tree so it's gigantic and let's see did i vary the line weight yep i vary the line weight for trees that are further away i use a very thin line and for this particular tree you can see that I drew in the lines with a marker so this is much thicker as well 3D instead of 2D uh, this park bench is drawn very dimensionally and with lines that are going to the vanishing point and the, ch the chairs, the legs are actually uh, being overlapped by this sitting here so you use the overlap techniques here as well speaking of overlap you can see that the trees are overlapping the horizon line and also the hilly area behind even the person the head of the people here are overlapping the horizon line so you know that th this horizon is in the distance also i've added shadow a lot of shadow for the trees and just to give it a more weight I even added shadow for this particular tree here on the ground itself so that to make sure that people can know that hey this tree is standing on the ground and it's casting a shadow on the ground itself the other technique is to uh, vary the contrast so in this tree here I use a lot of darker much darker tone uh, use very dark darks for the the shadow compared to trees that are further away which I use a lighter tone and objects that are closer to you you draw it with more detail so I included a texture on the back I try to simulate texture using markers uh, drawing very fast just textures on the markers uh, to simulate the bark and I give a texture to the trousers to the pants here you can also see the design of the t-shirt here the face feature the eyes the nose the ears as compared to uh, people standing at the back I cannot really uh, see any much details I cannot even see their eyes or what they are wearing 
Same thing for the tree here. I did not draw in the bark, the details, because if I were to draw them in, it would appear, um, it will be too glaring. The contrast will be too glaring because the lines are very uh, dark in that case. And the last technique here, hard versus soft edges. So for objects that are all that are closer to us, I draw them with a hard line. So all these objects are with hard line. You have to, but for objects that are at the back, for example, this is a hilly mountainous area. I drew them without the hard edges. I just use basically markers and do that. And then there is actually an even a further mount, even there's a mountain range that is even further away. Uh, it's very light. I'm not sure if you can see it. And there's no obvious edge to that because it's so light. But it's there if you look closely. So all these techniques, they will... You can use the techniques all together in a sketch to make your sketch more dimensional. Let me show you some of the sketches I've drawn in real life on location. And this is a scene from Ocean Park in Hong Kong. This is the horizon line here. This is actually a body of water. And these are actually very big ships. But because they are so far away, I drew them very small. So that's a perspective. And there are little islands here, also very close to the horizon and I did not put in many details because they are very far away. Now let's look at the foreground. The foreground is made up of people who are watching the show and in this case I drew in the hat. You can see the hair, the t-shirt, the lines of the shirt, even some of the facial features like the ears, the spectacles. But when it gets further down, I will just uh, draw in little circles to indicate that they are the heads of people there. Or just little strokes to make sure, to give you the suggestion that they are actually people. So objects that are in the foreground will get more detail and objects in the background, I'll draw them small and I will leave out the details. Let me show you another example. This is the uh, sketch at one of the park. Um, I drew it with a thin and thick line here. So this sculpture, this statue here, I drew outlined it with a very thick line. And because it's nearer to me, I also added in a lot of details regarding how it was sculpted. I also use overlap techniques. There's this uh, hand railing that is behind behind the sculpture and this hand railing is also behind this tree here the horizon line is somewhere around here and using the technique that I showed you just now placement this tree here is nearer to the horizon so it's further away and this object here it's placed further away from the horizon so it appears closer to us then there are some people sitting here as well I did not give them any detail because they are sitting quite far away. The background, for the background of this, this foliage here, the greenery, I did not use a lot of hard edges which are these lines. Instead I just use uh, colors, gradations of colors and not a lot of details to make them, uh, to put them in the back. If I drew them with a lot of lines, like for example, uh, this section here, they will appear to come forward. But in, the, in this case, I use um, colors that merge into one another, each other, and they will appear uh, further into the back. And they will not get your attention as compared to the statue which I want to draw your attention to. This is a digital sketch of my friends who are drawing outdoors. I use uh, some of the techniques also like the overlap, overlapping uh, this person here with this person and this person. I also use thick line for the person in front versus very thin line and the background I use very light uh, lines. Those are the techniques you can use to make your sketches more dimensional and also to give them more depth. I will list down all the techniques in the video description. You can copy them and use them as reference when you are drawing your own uh, sketch, making your own drawings. 
and how can you practice this at home you can look at some of your sketches that you have drawn and then look at the techniques and redraw your old sketches using some of the techniques and see if there are any differences to um, your drawings that's all for today's video and if you have any questions just ask me in the comment section below remember to subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be posting more sketching videos art products and sketchbook features in the future Thanks and have a nice day.